In this video, I'm going to show how to use effects loops in Music I.O. with Ableton Live on your Mac. Um, so I've got my iPad connected via a standard Lightning USB cable to my MacBook Pro. I'm going to launch Music I.O. And Music I.O. shows as disconnected. I'm going to launch Music I.O. on the Mac. And it also shows the same gray circle, but then it turns green and uh, and we know that the connection is live between the two devices and audio can flow both ways and MIDI. I'm going to open Ableton Live on the Mac and I'm just going to set up a simple audio track so I've already got this audio track 3 that looks fine let's use one of the built-in clips from Ableton Live I'm just gonna put this on the track so that works perfectly well. And now I'm going to get my effects plugin onto the track. So I go to my plugins, I'm gonna use audio units, or you could use VST, and I'm going to use Music I.O. and I'm gonna drag it onto the track. Okay, and now it's on the track and I need to go back to my iOS device to configure the plugin. So I'm going back to the iPad and I'm going to swipe right, and I'm going to go to the effects tab. The effects tab is the third tab, and I'm gonna add an effect on track one. So I'm going to add the uh, muckraker, and I'm going to open it up here, and now I'm gonna hit play in Ableton Live one more time. The reason that the audio is not flowing is because FX loop is off in the Music I.O. plugin, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on, and then here on the iOS device, So you've seen how to route a track from Ableton live into Music I.O. on your iPad, run it through effects and run it back into Ableton Live. Um, that's the last thing that I wanted to show you and this is the third video of this series. So we've seen MIDI, we've seen audio instruments and we've seen audio effects. Uh, if you have any questions, please hit us up at support at Music I.O. app and thanks for checking out Music I.O. and thanks for watching this video.